job, team. Perfect. I can switch here if you want. Uh, you like it? You can keep driving. You go ahead, honey. Team, huh? Yeah. Very, Very nice. Good job, Joe Easy. Thank you. But guys, that was a warm up, huh? So that was the North Fork Trail. One of our, there's three forks in this valley, two lower ones, and then the one that goes up to the divide. We did one of the lower ones. We did climb about 300 feet to that turnaround. We're about to climb 1,800 feet on the next one. Right. That was definitely the warm up. But I was telling you earlier about the miners. There used to be a town right there where we turn around. There's a town of Rexford, a couple hundred people. There was one at the base of these two peaks, Swanville, a few hundred people. The third town, the big one was right here, Parkville. This town had about 3,500 people at one point. It was the county seat for almost 40 years, and it had a main street. It had bars, hotels, it had a pharmacy, a theater, a bank, a mint where they produced gold coins. This was the place to be in the late 1800s. Uh, Breckenridge and Frisco were already there. Those were small towns compared to this one. Wow. The biggest town in a big radius. And the guy that found Tom, the guy that found the 12 pound chunk of gold, he lived here. But he lived in an encampment. He was a bunch of guys from Georgia. He was like a, maybe 150 guys, a couple of permanent buildings with just tents and stuff. Didn't look very good. And when he found that nugget, this went from a camp to a town in like a year and a half. Yeah. Much. When, uh, here's another team coming. When Tom found this chunk of gold, he freaked out. It was about the size of a small baby. Tom baby, because he would, he didn't want to tell anybody. They would shoot you for like a lot less than that back in those days. So he was wrapping in a blanket, and for like three weeks, he carried that thing everywhere. And people were like, what's wrong with Tom? He had a baby or something, you know? And then word got out, and that's when this thing went crazy. What was the name of the town? Parkville. Parkville. Yeah, you can Google it. There's tons of info online. It's pretty cool. There are pictures of this valley hundreds of years feet, ago. You know, Not a tree standing. Very, very different than what it is right now. Okay, so we got where are you guys all